mid-ride holster mount. I recommend uh, low ride for several reasons. Uh, one being how high I have to lift up my arm here. See that? Barely clears that. So how high you have to lift up your arm? Just for comfort and ease. There will be a uh, T-Rex arm leg strap that I will run through uh, the next uh, rig that I put on this. That will go and uh, stabilize this flap. Alright, we're going to do a fully detailed overview of the T4E HDR 68 caliber paintball revolver. 68 caliber, 5 rounds per cylinder, CO2 revolver. Reminds me of the Hellboy gun. cylinder comes out like that by using this kind of slide it controls that rod there is no uh, CO2 currently in there when you put your CO2 in it, this has a puncture cap on it in that uh so it goes in like this not like this so goes in like that then you uh, put your cap back on I'll do a demonstration of this in a little bit then you hit it like that and then uh, there's an indicator right here that will turn red that's how you know it's charged up ready to go uh, what else can I say about this it comes with, or it doesn't come with, but you can buy separately a uh, holster. We'll open that in a little bit. And uh, you can also buy uh, two pack cylinders separately. Let's go over what else is in this box. Opens like that. You got your manual, Allen wrench, and two more cylinders. You can get this off of a uh, Modern Combat Sports website, MCUCS, something like that. I'll uh, leave the link and uh, I'll probably leave a screenshot of where it's, uh, where I got it from. It cost me $115. Really good price. Alright, so uh, let's take everything out here. Cylinders, holster cylinders that came with it and then I got this Safari Land uh, paddle and QLS system I'm gonna see if I can uh, rig up to this holster we're gonna go fully detailed over that and what that looks like here I have a uh, 10 round shotgun shell pouch but though uh, I'm using it to use to hold the CO2 round CO2 cartridges and here we have a 40 pack of Crossman, which cost me $24. 40 pack of cylinders. Alright, so let's uh, start off with this holster here. Almost like that. Now, what I was really interested in about this holster was. I gotta see if it can mount to the QLS system for the Safari Land holster. If I can rig it up some way with uh, zip ties or something, I'll uh, do a video on how that's gonna be done because I do not trust this just sitting on my belt, but though maybe I do because it's kind of hard to get open, or maybe I just don't know how to open it. I really don't want to break this. How do I? Is there directions on here? There's probably directions inside the manual, but I don't feel like opening it. I have to read that while I'm making the video, so. Maybe I slide something. No, no, but let's just stick that in there for right now. So it locks in there with a retention button. Let's 
see if I can get this thing open. I don't know if that comes through it or what. Alright, so I just watched the video on how to get this thing open. You just really gotta get your hand, finger through this gap and pull up. There we go. Wow, that was really easy. So, what I'm looking at here, this is a full detailed thing so that way you can uh, make a decision for yourself how you might want to mount it. Showing you every little bit of this holster that there is to see. Let me see if uh, this thing can hold a... Uh, no, it cannot hold a flashlight on the under barrel or nothing on the over barrel. So, you would probably use a dump pouch to carry it if you want any attachments on it. So, I'll give you a full look here. Wish there was a way to detach this without breaking it because I want to keep it made in China. But the rest of it's made in Taiwan, apparently. Alright, let's open up uh, the Safari Land holster, bro. Pull Safari Land paddle. Holster paddle. This is the QLS system. So this paddle, or piece of the QLS system, attaches to this paddle. Goes on like that, then this piece goes on the holster, and then uh, the whole entire holster can be mounted on this, and you can easily change out holsters that way. So if you just mount this piece on any one of your holsters, you can uh, quickly change out what pistol you carry. Let's talk about uh, what this pistol can be used for. Self-defense, home defense, non-lethal, less lethal. Let me demonstrate these for you. She's just gonna take this out of there. Here we have some uh, Live X pepper ball rounds. And then here's a weaker version of that. Then these are the inert practice training rounds. They come in five a pack for uh, this brand. I think it's pep just plain old pepper ball brand. These are not gel casings. These are hard plastic. They do break into powder. The inert training rounds and the real ones. So that goes in there like that. There is a little, I put it in from this way, there is a little detent to hold it in there, but it does easily pop out. So that goes up on in there. Metal side towards you. Uh, one side looks more open so that way you can actually. Uh, show you so that side it can't come out of this side it can so the side that it can't come out of of course you know, goes in there so uh, there's two uh, there's one loading malfunction that uh, will confuse you a bit first so say if you got it like this it's not all the way seated that's a little dramatic just to show you but if it's not uh, the rod is in position to go forward so if you just push it in goes like that well that's pretty much all I have to show you except for shooting it alright about to demonstrate the loading keep it unloaded when you're charging it up especially while not wearing eye protection
comes out like that. Like I said earlier, it goes in this way. This is the puncture cap. It goes in with the nipple down. I just dropped the puncture cap. So that goes back in there. Alright. So uh, you'll see that the indicator is now black, but though let's hit the let's see if I can get this in the shot. Alright, uh, I don't know if you just heard that. Or if, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but now the indicator is now red in there. It's kind of hard to see. I wonder if that's fully charged up. Yeah, I guess it's fully charged up. Alright, now we're about to load it. There is no safety on this, by the way. No safety on this paintball pistol revolver. Alright, let's load it up. This is your safety right here. Your finger outside the trigger guard off the trigger on this trigger there is a uh, you'll see that secondary little trigger there that's the uh, so if you pull down on the big trigger only it will not pull you need to pull the uh, smaller trigger at the same time but though uh, it naturally does that well uh, let's uh, show you what it does I'm gonna try to hit my pull out back all right so here we go that little pole you see out there, that's what we're aiming for. Let me zoom you all in. We have it loaded up with the inert purple rounds. You will see a white powdery impact. All right finger on the trigger when ready to fire. Right, let me aim this.